A program to help women get back on their feet after their time in prison takes a step forward by taking in children. KITV4's Eddie Dowd explains how this change aims to keep more women from going back behind bars. If we don't have a safe place to go, we are going to end up going back to prison. When Holly Reynolds was released from prison in 2018, she turned to Beacon of Hope to start a new life and keep out of trouble. We tend to be creatures of habit. We do the same thing over and over again, and without places like this, it won't give us a moment to get away from it. The women were coming out. They were going to be homeless if there was nowhere to go. Reverend Sam Cox created this refuge seven years ago by opening up his home. Statistics about the high number of former inmates who end up back in prison startled him into taking action. Oh, I'd like to see it continue indefinitely and even more needs. The new partnership with the Institute for Human Services will help it expand by providing liability insurance so children will now be able to stay with their moms. There is hope this family environment will encourage women to work towards becoming productive members of society. After you get to a certain age, you kind of worry that if you'll be able to repair the damage that you did. So when I was able to find out that I could have my kid, it was really, really, really happy. Statistics show 85% of women inmates normally end up back in prison. But staff say after stays at Beacon of Hope, their rates drop to only 25%, which is why IHS feels the services offered are so important. Ha having a place to prevent homelessness and to just encourage people in re their recovery is really core to our services. So it just made um, sense to include that in our family of programs. Eddie Dowd, KITV4 Island News.